What is up everybody, Eric here from Soundcast Studios. Today we're taking a look at DIY Recording Equipment's Color Duo. I'll be going over some of its features and reasons why I like the unit so much. Full disclosure, I am in no way affiliated with DIY Recording Equipment. I bought this unit with my own money and I'm just sharing my personal opinion. The Color Duo is kind of like a combination of the CP5 and the Color Palette if you're familiar with those. You just cram them together in a 1U rack unit. You get the benefits of a CP5 color preamp and then with a click of a button, you get the color palette and can use the color modules for mixing and mastering. A cool extra feature that this has over the color palette is the addition of a mix knob. Now you can use the color modules in parallel, which I think is a really cool feature. The feature that really sold me on the unit, however, is the ability to be able to quickly swap out color modules. The drawer comes out and you can quickly switch out one color module for another or change the jumpers that modify certain parameters on some of the modules. For example, the Royal Blue has a jumper for a shelf boost, and with this unit, I can quickly turn it off or on in a matter of seconds. I've owned the unit for a couple of months now, and I have really enjoyed the way it's incorporated into my workflow. Being able to dial in some saturation as I'm tracking has been a ton of fun and has made my recording sound better sooner. To showcase this, I pulled up a super old recording where I know I tracked straight through my interface's clean preamps. I think I had the Focusrite Scarlet interface at the time. In an effort to try and simulate what it would sound like had I tracked it today using the Duo, I ran each track through a color module and dialed in some saturation. I used the 15 IPS for the kick, overheads, and bass, the Royal Blue for the snare, the main vocals, and backing vocals, and then I used the CTX for the guitar and keys. Now I'll have you take a listen to that. Like I don't deserve to rule. I got a lot of stuff no one else could drop. The type of stuff they don't teach you in school. I'm not your friend, I'm a monster. I'm not patient, I'm a doctor. I can't waste my time on these sickles. I just wanna say I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna Gonna wake up? Am I ever gonna receive a pay cut? Am I ever gonna get the job that I want? Or stay ignorant and living with my aunt? I don't wanna wake up, never wake up. I just wanna stay at home and get drunk. All I wanna do is get famous and being in the rain is acting stupid is fun. To my ears, the one with the color just sounds better. I like how it made the low end sound and how it made things sound a little more glued together, probably because of the natural compression that saturation adds. It's not a night and day difference, however but it gets me to a better mixing point sooner, and I like that. I've also managed to use this on a few mastering sessions. I only have a stereo pair of the 15 IPS, so those are the only modules I've been able to use when mastering, but I do like the subtle tape saturation I've been able to add to some of my masters. Overall, I'm really happy with this unit. I like the versatility it has, and the sounds it helps me get in a creative way. Can all these sounds be done with plugins? Probably, I don't doubt that, but it's significantly more fun to be doing it in real time with a piece of hardware. Does it sound better? That's up for debate. Is it more fun? Yes, and when you're making music, music's about having fun. So that is gonna be the end of this video. In the comment section below, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you thought I could have done better. And I'll see you all in the next video.